Hi everyone, I'm Laurentiu and in this video I'm going to talk about all MotorStorm games for the Sony PS3. The MotorStorm series is amazing. Even now, seeing the game again, I can say that it aged well. The first MotorStorm was a game that was very hyped upon since its first trailer. The gameplay didn't reach the trailer but got pretty close. And the game really is great. The mud deforms in realistic ways and affects the handling of the vehicles. You get roughly three main vehicle classes. I know there are seven, but you can split them in three groups. Bikes, trucks and buggies. And each handle different and have a different strategy to them. Bikes are light and floaty on the tracks and they are good for ramps and tight shortcuts on the course. Whereas trucks are big and heavy, but useful to ram into competition to wipe them out. And buggies are balanced. Also the crash animations in this series is awesome. Crashes look amazing, making the experience enjoyable even when you crash into stuff. You also get a boost, which are the flames that come from the vehicles. And while what you get is very high quality, the content is a little short. The base game has only 8 tracks. There is an expansion pack with 4 more tracks, but many people don't even know about them. And even with 12 tracks, the content still feels like it's too repetitive. And the vehicles, even if you have multiple types of them, you get 7 vehicle types, in the end it feels as if you have only 7. One for each vehicle class. But don't let this discourage you. The game still is great and fun to play, and it even has multiplayer, which is also fun. MotorStorm Pacific Rift is a big improvement over its predecessor. First, the single flaw I called in the first one is fixed. The variety. You get double the tracks and more variety in the track design. The first MotorStorm was all mud tracks. While here you get mud, jungles, beaches, mountaintops, it has more variety in tracks. And the tracks have some great designs too. For example jungles are lush and bikes can pass through some branches, while bigger vehicles can get through them. Also now levels have water, which is useful to cool down your turbo watch. Also if you get behind someone that goes with turbo or go through lava, the flames will heat up your engine. As for race types, you get new ones. Aside of the normal races and elimination races, now you also get speed races, where you have to pass through checkpoints on the map. And it's pretty annoying that the checkpoints are too close together and you can't see the next one until you pass through the current one, which makes it difficult to judge where the next checkpoint will be. And since they are so close together, yeah, accidents happen. Also the game introduced a new vehicle type, monster trucks. The game also introduced split screen multiplayer and a photo mode, making the game a big improvement over its predecessor. MotorStorm Pacific Rift 3D is the same as the standard game. I don't know why my teenage old self put it as a different game, but yeah, just know that there is a 3D version. 3D version on the PS3 meant that if you had a 3D enabled TV and 3D glasses, you could play the game in 3D. The 3D is the 3D like you see in cinemas with 3D movies. That sort of 3D, not 3D as in the opposite of 2D. MotorStorm Apocalypse is spectacular. It has the usual MotorStorm formula, but this time you race in a city that crumbles. While you race, one lap some buildings or bridges or the road crumbles, the next lap something explodes or crumbles and this adds adrenaline. There's a lot of action going on. And while the action really is epic, if you nail the stunts, most of the time with so much happening on screen you won't know which way to steer or on what to jump, and the competition even slams into you, making it difficult for you to finish the race. 
But since there are only 9 tracks in the base game and 13 total, if you download all of the extra ones, you'll learn the cinematics of destruction and you will know that at for example lap 2 that building goes off or in lap 1 that happens and by learning what happens and when it happens you'll know where to steer. But this is a double edge sword. Because if you know what is going to happen, the game loses this thrill. Because if you know what is going to happen, the game loses its thrill. Overall, the game is fantastic. And it starts with a Hollywood-like epic action. But the more you play, the less exciting it gets. Motorstorm RC is boring. Just like on any platform, no matter that it is a Java game, a GBA game or a PS3 game in this case, I don't like isometric racing games. They have weird controls and it takes time to get used to them. And if you struggle to get used to the controls, you don't end up having a satisfying gameplay after all that trouble. Because such games usually aren't exciting. And neither is Motorstorm RC. The tracks look bland, the controls are weird until you get used to them, and there's not really much to do in the game. Sure, you have races and some places where you can roam, but overall the game is boring. It loses everything that the Motorstorm franchise did good until now, and replaces the thrill with lame isometric controlled RC cars. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.